No way. You coming straight toward me. Come on. Come on. I'm out of bullet. I'm out of bullet. Yeah, my face hole. Yeah, we all doing good. I think we're just getting into the situation where we move. This is going to be soon, I think. What? Where are you moving to? You gonna be in the same state? Reload that thing. Woo! Woo! Come on, come on. Come on. Need more ammo. Come on. Don't 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 crawl. Hurry. Come on, bro. Here we go. Wow, one at a time, y'all. One at a time. One at a time. Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Jesus. Hold on, Vapor, I got you, bro. Let me get, let me get myself situated. Jesus, man. What? What? Oh, my God. Woo. Oh, my God. Okay. No melee. No melee. In. Got it. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh 
my god. <laughs> yeah, we're moving a bit further north from Missouri. A spot for a good amount of land. Gonna get transferred to the one up there. That's what's up, man. I'm glad you're getting transferred up there, man. Oh, gotta reload. Woo! Wait, what? Bro, what? What? Survive the platform ride. Okay. Gotta dodge. Whoa. Okay, no meleeing at all. We just gotta shoot and run, shoot and run, shoot and run. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Shoot and run. Ooh, my goodness. I don't got no more bullets. Bullet. I need bullets. Oh. Oh, that was my chance. I messed up. That was my chance. Shot. the other guy. He said dead weight. Oh my goodness. Little beefy boy. Beefy boy. I'm out of bullets. This is not good. Oh my god, man. Two heads is better than one, bitch. Yeah, pretty much one hit. Oof. Jesus, man. I'll keep you on your toes. I don't got nothing in here. Oh, Jesus. That was pretty intense, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's pretty, that was pretty freaking intense. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Um. Damn. So, y'all, um, trying to think. Y'all already got a house and everything situated up there?
That's it. Danny, I made it. Great. Where are you? There's some kind of service tunnel. I'm on the other side. Just keep going. You're almost to the colony. Locate the old colony. Okay. Nothing over here? Hey, yeah, man. You a prophet, bro? Hell yeah. That sounds that sounds like the moves right there. Especially if it's a you know the house been in your family for a while, man. That's what I'm gonna do with the the house I'm in now. Everything's in my mom's name, but I'm second on it. And ain't no telling what's going to future in the future where I'm gonna want to move or either be here. I don't know, but when I do, I ain't gonna sell it. I'm just gonna rent it out. Either like an Airbnb or like find a family that wants to live in this area, that type of deal, and just have extra income, passive money that way. I'll explain. Yeah, man. Definitely renting out. You never know what the future might happen. You know, in the future, what might happen. Renting out a house and shit. That, bro. It's big money in real estate. Pharmaceuticals, like pharma. And just, man, just, man, don't even get me started about my job. Them damn pills, bro. Don't even get me started. I'm at the colony. Where are you? See that light tower? Meet me there. Light tower, got it. I know for like the pricing of houses, it was ridiculous with the whole COVID thing, so. I don't know if it's. Uh, ooh. My boy just, my boy and his girl about to close down on the house now in the same city as me. Everybody, everybody trying to get a house nowadays. Why did you crouch down? I didn't even press the button. Come on, stab him. This 
so many of these things, man. I hate these things. That and the sperm looking ones. Ooh, there's one right behind me. I don't think city life is for me, to be honest. I live in town. It's like, hey, man, it was like, man, it's crazy. Math has annoying people. But I hated the traffic. What? You really don't like city life, man? In the city life, like, there's everything's accessible. I come, I come from a small town. It's like, it's modern, but it ain't like city life, city life. But when I moved to Orlando, Florida, when I, when I was going to college, it was a big like eye opener for me. Like as in, in regards to like city life and like a tourist city, and there's always something to do. Even if it's like golfing, mini golf, or ooh, ooh. mini golf, or like goat karting, that type of. Ooh, he didn't have a shadow. Three thousand people. I prefer to live five to fifteen minutes outside the city. It's true. Less traffic. Less. Well, I wouldn't say less crime or anything. It's just. I would say what's the word I'm looking for? Peaceful. Not as like loud and busy all the time. Looks like this place was evacuated in a hurry. That stomp audio went. It just went total silent just now when I tried to stomp on his body. How you gonna move right when I'm trying to get close to you, bruh? Bro! I like to be near enough to things to where I don't have to worry about being stuck in a horror movie scenario. <laughs> yeah, man, you don't want to be too far from the city. Like, if you need to call 911, and it take them fucking 30 minutes to get... Well, now nah, I'm exaggerating. Not 30 minutes, but not a quick enough time to save your freaking life or, like, respond. Me, my goal, realistically, when I'm done with school, is like to buy my own land and build my house on that land. But I don't want that land to be too far away from the city. Like I want to start off from scratch, like blueprint all that schematics. That's how I want to build my house. I want it to be like four bedroom, three and a half bath bathroom. That's what I want. It's gonna, all going to be one story. I thought about two-story, but then I was like, if I get old, my knees ain't going to work as good. I don't need no two-story house. I just make one big one-story house. Yeah, I don't want to live. I don't want to have to squabble with Jason for 35 minutes before the cops arrive. That is true. Man. That's why I don't watch horror movies now. It's like... I don't know. It's just some of the stuff that happens, and I'm like, that's so unrealistic. And like, yeah, it scares me from time. I'm like, oh, shoot stab the heck out of me and it can be graphic but I'm like bro in a realistic scenario regardless of black white skin color ain't nobody gonna walk up in there 
Especially naked, not with no weapon or anything in their hand. Who, why, are you, why are you that curious to walk up in the room? You know damn well something's in the room or in that house, and you just want to go investigate? That's unrealistic, bro. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's that's not that's not real. Oh, he's awake. People don't want to, well, no, there are nosy people out there now in today's society that just want to include themselves in business that don't deserve to be in their business, but whatever. Yeah, you have to sit. Yeah, the age of surveillance. <laughs> we live in, there's no reason our phones wouldn't work or numerous fail saves our phones would have. It would be Nixon. <laughs> that is true, bro. Like some, bro, like the freaking Apple Watch. It monitors your heart and stuff and, and the whole like health app on your phone, bro. Come on, man. It, it, horror movies have to be like set in the past or just make the people act like stupid. <laughs> Like, the people don't have common sense in the movie. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Everybody, I believe somebody will pull out their cell phones as they're being chased by Jason. Yeah, see? To alert people when you fall. See, boom, by pointing. Oh, my God. Like, come on, bro. Freaking, freaking life alert, too. Let me see what that door does. Especially for the, like, the elderly people. Come on, bro. And then, and then you got people that get, that got guns, bro. Like, you got people with guns, man. Let Jason try to chase somebody. Let Jason try to chase somebody a heel bitch, bro. A heel billy. Cold hearted hillbilly redneck, bruh. He's alive. Yeah, man, strapped, bro. For real, strapped. Have you seen on Instagram? It was this dude yelling. Uh, no, I think we have. There are three AR 15s and like six handguns in my house, not to mention shotguns. And that's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> like, movie, movies like that. I'm like, bro, like, I some horror movies I do enjoy, but it's like, this is so unrealistic. <laughs> There's no way this would happen. Like, the director has to make the character. In the story, dumb. They have to. They have to make them dumb. Cause ain't no way in hell. Uh oh. Oh my god. That was simple. Blo <laughs> Bro's getting blown away, <laughs> bruh. Blown away. Bruh, I know somebody would have a pointed, sh straight up pointed shotgun aimed at Jason head with the mask on. Blow his head up. As Jason, <laughs> as Jason's on the ground, you know, if the machete fell out of his hand, I, I believe someone's gonna pick up the damn machete and hack that dude head off, bro. While he on the ground. Seriously. Anybody else? 
Nobody gonna tolerate that crap. And why are they always falling? Somebody always falls, bro. As they're like being chased. Somebody always falls. Or take forever to run. Like, to run away. Like, why are you standing there? Freaking run. You know he's killing people. Why are you looking? Like, go. <laughs> Mother wow. got no health or a health injection. Great. There's no way he's surviving the onslaught of bullets. That are just finishing. But chunks uh, yeah, chunks out his body, bro. Come on man. I believe somebody will pull out I believe somebody in real life will pull out a grenade launcher if they had one accessible and they was being chased by Jason. Legit on unauthorized weapons will be used on Jason. By a real life person, if they were being chased. If they had it, they would use it. Just riddle his whole body with it, just. The bullets. And yeah, homemade. Yeah, bro, homemade pipe bombs, bro. Somebody got some homemade pipe bombs they're gonna throw at Jason if they're being Jason. Or wait for Jason. Like they will throw the pipe bomb like right before it explodes at Jason to make sure Jason just don't look down, grab it, and throw it at the person. <laughs> yeah, you can have that. Look at him trying to glitch in. You see that? How's that fair, bro? Look at this. I can't hit him either. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, he don't want to do it no more, do he? I better set up some trip wire. <laughs> Dead ass, bro. Dead ass, for real. Uh oh. Bar. Oh, we got both of them now. What'd she say? Dang, so something's going on down there then. Well, something happened to this colony. It's like they either found a virus, they like excavated something out the ice, something happened to these people. And then they just built the prison on top of it. Yo, Vapor, I really don't know the plot of this story, bro. I'm still trying to understand. I'm still trying to understand what is going on. I really am. Like, I'm trying my best.
should head back to the elevator. No, not yet. Jacob. I found something. What? Just get up here. You need to see it. Uh oh. 